there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. There's nothing more elegant than a lined envelope, and today I'm going to show you how to do it quickly and easily using supplies from our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com, your best source for packaging and more. And that's where I got this ribbon and these beautiful envelopes. The first thing you want to do is get the envelope that you want to line and open it up. And you want to measure the point from just underneath the... Uh, the glue here, the envelope glue to the bottom of your envelope, which in my case is six inches. And then you want to measure the width of it. And it is um, between five, it's about five and five eighths, I would say here. So I'm just going to do five and a half for the width because I want it to have a little wiggle room. So that's what I have here, six inch by five and a half inch piece of paper. Then what you want to do is trace your, just kind of center it up there. And you want to trace the uh, the shape of your flap with a pencil, and I'm doing it on the um, on the back side of my pattern paper, so I don't have any pencil marks when I'm done. Since it is a symmetrical design, I don't really have to worry about that too much. And then simply cut it out. I find that you can use a paper trimmer or long blade shears work best because it's easier to keep a straight line that way. And then all you have to do is slide it in your envelope and the bottom of the paper will automatically kind of go to the bottom. And then just to be safe, I like to put just a little bit of adhesive on the back. And that will just keep it from wiggling around in there. Now this provides a couple benefits. For one, it's beautiful and it makes your stationery look a little bit more custom and classy and expensive. The other thing is, if you're going to mail something like money or a check or something, it kind of provides a security feature, uh, kind of like the envelopes a bank use so you can't see through it. So then I thought, well, you know what? The cool thing about this particular um, envelope, this is the A2 size from Paper Mart, is that you can line three envelopes and embellish three cards with one sheet of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. So here's one that I did with a little ribbon on it. Here's one I did without the ribbon, which I think is also beautiful. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make that card. I'm gonna want a piece of white paper, just a piece of scrap paper here to protect my work surface. And um, I took a sheet of 110 pound uh, cardstock and I scored it in half and I just didn't embossed half of it with this Tim Holtz embossing folder. And then using a little bit of pink and green ink, I'm just going to gently, I think I got a pencil under there or something. There we go. I'm just going to gently add a little bit of ink to my embossing folder design here, just right on my paper, just to bring out my the texture a little bit. You could skip that if you prefer a more streamlined look. And then a little scrap of paper left over from that 12 by 12 piece. Stick that right down there. I like to leave a little bit of the design showing on either side. And then I simply want to take a piece of my Paper Mart Organza ribbon. I love this stuff. It comes in a variety of widths. This is the um, 7 8 inch wide ribbon. And I am just going to snip it long enough so that I can tie a bow. And I find that if I kind of cut it at an angle and I'm careful when I tie it, usually no additional trimming is required. You can use a little fray check on the ends if you, if you want to, but generally cards don't take too much wear and tear, I don't think. I just tie a simple bow. And this, along with your beautiful custom uh, lined envelope, is just such a lovely card to give. Or you can even put them as a set in like a little clear baggie. Paper Mart has those clear propylene bags that are great polypropylene bags. Add it with three envelopes and you've got a beautiful gift set for a wedding or a birthday or um, just an any day present. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please do check out our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com where we make you look even better. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.